Well, hello everybody. Let me just scoot you back a little bit. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna come get you. He's like, come on mom, come over here and pick me up. Okay, so, um, wanted to come on today to kind of update you guys on some things. Um, <laughs> just make a beautiful girl. He makes me so happy. I'm gonna say hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. She's still wearing her beautiful romper. I am gonna change her, though. Today I'm gonna put her in a, a little short romper. But, um, I wanted to come on and let you guys know how my Saturday went. First of all, I am feeling much better. Thank goodness to the medication that me and my husband are on. Hallelujah. It's just my throat gets severely dry. So, constantly drinking water. So, excuse me for a second. Huh. Oh, that's better. So, um, I just wanted to let you guys know I, did, I got some really bad news yesterday uh, my cousin called me and he told me some really bad news about my uncle um, two weeks ago we had went to my cousin's birthday party for his little boy and he told me about his dad having this lump on his neck and that he kept trying to get his dad to go to the doctor but my uncle being stubborn and not wanting to go didn't want to get it looked at well he noticed it was getting bigger so he kept bugging his dad well finally they got him into the doctor and they did blood tests and they did scans then they noticed that he had one underneath his arm well come to find out that it is cancerous and it's caused by his smoking he's been a smoker all his life he's 57 years old and now he's facing this. Um, he can treat it with radiation and that will shrink the mass where they can remove it. But my uncle doesn't want to do radiation. He said pretty much hell no. Um, he wants to go out the way he wants to go out and for my cousin to hear that, that's very hard, you know. Um, we want our li our loved ones to fight. We want them to be here with us. Um, and it's hard to hear that they don't want to fight. But you have to respect their decision. You know, I respect his decision because I have seen certain loved ones go through radiation. And it's horrible what it does to your body. It's very painful. And it's not a guarantee that it's going to fix the situation. So, um, you know, me and my cousin had a very, very long talk on the phone yesterday. And we cried and we talked and talked. And, and I just told him, you know, that I'm here for him. Whatever his family needs, whatever he needs. You know, if, it, if it's even to watch the kids, why they go to him. A doctor's appointment with him you know I'll do it it's just hard for me to even say it out loud because I just found out about it last night <clears throat> and uh, it's kind of still sinking in myself and you know I'm processing it so uh, it's just a lot to a lot to process and I'm trying to keep it together. I'm trying not to cry. I am a crier, you guys that know me, but I'm staying strong. I'm just not allowing, <clears throat> I'm not allowing it to kick in yet. Um, I did cry last night when I was talking to my, or my cousin, but I want to also, you know, keep it together because I have a lot on my plate. 
you know, everything that's going to be going on in my life and the challenges that I'm going to be facing uh, with our upcoming IVF. Our first appointment is Monday. You know, you guys know about my sweet Molly. And right now everything is going okay with her. But even with her, it's an up and down battle. Uh, with any animal that has a disease, you have one good week, you could have two bad weeks. It just kind of hit or miss. So I've been dealing with a lot of things and then I got the strep throat and I have the wedding coming up next weekend. Then we're going to Washington at the end of June. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, just, just <laughs> things that are just going on and I feel like I am just trying to hold on with all of my might while the tornado is just spinning around me. And thank you for all of you that keep me grounded and centered and tell me to not to stress and to um, try to stay calm. That this, this news about my uncle just uh, kind of like the last straw, you know. It's just very hard to uh, to hear this. So I am um, <clears throat> just asking for prayer. Just a general prayer for our family. And I know I have a lot of prayer warriors out there, so thank you. And uh, we will get through this. We will get through this. Also, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my post today. And those of you who don't have Instagram, who don't follow me, I'm making this video to let you know that Jude is for sale. I know. <laughs> I know <clears throat> some of you out there are probably like oh my gosh like why why um, I have a little secret and I've been keeping it a secret for a while but I am reborn expecting a new baby therefore I need to sell Jude <clears throat> because that'll put me at four keeping Jude and with this upcoming IVF, um, it's a little too much. Uh, in actuality, I think two would be better, but I'm gonna have three. So the baby that's coming is gonna be a boy, and I needed to make a decision whether to keep Jude or to keep Kayla. And that was a very hard choice. Now the new baby that's coming is the same size as Jude, so that kind of already made it a little bit easier to pick Jude. Also, I knew it was going to be one of the boys because I would never sell her. Um, and then when I looked at Caleb, I just couldn't do it. I could not get rid of Caleb. Caleb will be a part of my family going on a year this October. Which for me, that's a huge milestone. And Caleb is very special. I've, I've, I've told you guys this many, many times, how special that little boy is to me. You know, the Noah sculpt really started it all for me. And I don't feel that I could ever find another baby quite like him. He was already my little diamond in the rough when I found him. And with his little strawberry blonde hair I just he's just so unique he is such a little character just like Zoe she's very unique she has her own little essence her own little character not saying that Jude did but the those two particular babies Caleb and Zoe they have a little essence to them I didn't quite feel that way with Jude I loved him 
but not in the level that I loved Zoe and Caleb. So if you are interested in, in Jude, um, please send me a PM and I will give you all the details. I will let you know what his price is. I'm very firm on my price. I've only had him going on two months. Um, he is It's a Boy by Tina Kiwi. He has full arms, full legs. He has a full chest plate with little boy bits and he has a back plate. So, um, and they're beautiful. Mandy painted them so realistically. Oh my gosh, beautiful. I never even used them. So, um, I think I have him priced very fair. So if you are interested, please, please PM me. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to have a PayPal. Um, and we'll, we'll discuss other things um, in a private message. So I hope he finds a really good home. Uh, my new baby will be here sometime this week. So I'm very excited about that. He will be my last baby. He will be my last reborn, guys. That's it. Uh, with this upcoming journey of IVF, that is my main focus. That is my main priority. So I will still make reborn videos. I will still enjoy my hobby. But as things progress with my IVF, you know, that's going to take more precedence, obviously. And then if I do become pregnant, not if, when I become pregnant, of course, that is number one priority. These little babies here will help me cope with the stress. They will help me get through all of that. And I think having the three is a good manageable number. So, um... I cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait to introduce him to you guys. And you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, so, you know, don't worry. Good things are coming. New adventures are coming. And I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. So, yeah, that, that's about it, guys. I don't want to keep you too long. Um, I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. I hope you're keeping cool. And I will make a couple more videos. I have uh, a happy mail package to open. And I want to change Zoe. And I want to change Caleb. <gasps> because hi, aunties. <laughs> hi, aunties. So yeah, we'll, we'll make some happy videos. I know this one was a little bit sad, but I love sharing these things with you guys. If something is going on in my life, I, I love talking to you guys about it. You guys are a great support system. You guys give me wonderful advice. And I consider you like family, a second family. You really are. I mean, I have been through so much and I've shared it with all of you. And it's been amazing. And there's a lot of things that I'm going to be having to face this coming year. As we're closing this year out, I'm going to be facing a lot of things. And I'm going to need all of you in my corner, cheering me on, praying for me. Because it's going to be like this. There's going to be a lot of highs and there's going to be a lot of lows. So, I just need prayer. Okay, so I will say goodbye for now. I'll upload this video and next videos that are coming out, changing videos and package opening. Yay! All right, take care, everybody. Mwah.